Afternoon everybody, Exterminator87 here. Um, we're going to do another backyard ballistic test, much in the style of the last video I just put up. And this one features something by request to a certain extent. It's another Ruger Vaquero in 45 Colt video. A lot of people was curious about seeing a little more of this gun. And some people said they wanted to see some jugs of ice being shot. And I've been wanting to do this for a while myself. So I figure what a good pair up there. We're going to see how many different frozen uh, milk jugs that a couple different 45 Colt rounds will go through. And we got some cowboy loads, silver tip hollow points, and plus P loads by Buffalo Boar. So it should be something interesting to watch. As always, follow us on Instagram and all that good stuff. Let's have some fun. 45 Colt versus ice. Uh, this is just the kind of makeshift shooting platform we got. I'm just using this falling down shed. As you can see, these jugs are very frozen. They've been in my deep freeze for like a month. I don't think this is going to go through more than three of these, but I put four here just to be safe. Here's the different rounds we will be using today. grain round nose flat point cowboy action lead 225 grain Winchester silver tip hollow point 300 grain jacketed flat point buffalo board plus P 200 grain cowboy action load here we go Covered in ice. This is the first strike. It busted up and it made a bit of a slushy mess in there, or icy, shaved ice, what have you. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is the ju second jug. It went in right here on the edge and you can see the bullet lodged in there. Only about a quarter of the way through. Here it is with some of the plastic removed. didn't deform or anything. Time for a standard pressure Winchester silver tip hollow point. It doesn't appear the silver tip hollow point even went through one jug. Let's dig around here for a minute. I think I can see it buried on the back side right there. As you can see right there, that silver tip mostly fragmented. little pieces. I'm gonna cut myself somewhere. You got a bunch of little pieces here and there. Jacketing and bullet. This one might make a little difference. It's a lot hotter. It's the Buffalo Boar 300 gram plus P load. It's about like a 44 Magnum. Plus P. 
plus P. Let's figure out what happened with the plus P. This is the first jug that got hit. And it just exploded. That one's destroyed. This might be the second jug. And it curved. Looks like it went out the side right here and hit the wood right there and then skipped. Personally, I can't find the 45 Colt Plus P, so I'm gonna just shoot it with another one. I'm having a really bad time with this 45 Colt Plus P. So we're gonna shoot it again for the third time. Let's try this again. Uh, it's kind of hurt. Mm. Back to the golf course once again. After a little examination, I found the plus P round on the ground under the third jug in a pile of ice. And it's perfectly mushroomed. Here's the three bullets we used. HSM 200 grain cowboy action load, the 225 grain Winchester silver tip, and the 300 grain buffalo bore plus P round. Since we're done with that test, let's have some fun. Plus P look.
Terminator 87 once again. Another backyard ballistic test. The ice was pretty interesting, I have to admit. Made a fun video. Um, I'll probably shoot a little more frozen jugs now that I have a deep freeze at home. Um, got a lot of good ideas for upcoming videos. This might be the last ballistic test one we do for just a little bit, but we'll do some more. Um, so, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, keep watching, keep shooting. We'll see you next time. Follow us on Instagram, Exterminator87, signing out. This is Exterminator87. <laughs> Baby, hood oh. style. We're going to hood today. We're going to hood. Quiet.